What is love making? <sighs> no, I mean. I... Where you been all your life? <laughs> <laughs> But I understand. No, yeah. I, mean, I mean, I think that the, the way you use the term yeah. is, is very different to mm. you know, the tradition, you yeah. know, the ordinary. I mean, at the end of yesterday's session, you said, now the lovemaking begins. Mm. So I speak I, of that in a way, um, in the deepest sexuality. In the deepest sexuality, meaning um, the first the first masculine and feminine of consciousness, the first aspects. If we, if we um, look at the absolute, absolute awareness, which is before everything, before manifestation, before any form, there, there is an intelligence that is Cosmic. complete and utter nothingness and even before that yeah we call void even before that yet it is an intelligence that is uh, aware if we call that the absolute um, this being the masculine aspect of, of consciousness. Yeah? So if you drop, 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 drop into that, energy begins to rise. Mm. And this energy we call Shakti. Mm -hmm. And this Shakti starts to dance. into manifestation and take shape and forms and all this all these forms, all these colors, all these shapes all these objects are born out of the depth of nothingness and energy rises up to create all that we are in experience so this is she yeah. we can say this is the feminine aspect Shakti is the feminine aspect of consciousness yeah. so the way they speak in India is Shiva and Shakti stillness and movement Shiva and Shakti being the the god and goddess the, f the first uh, incarnations of consciousness into form yeah well those aspects are the nature of your being you are always aware your very nature is stillness and movement. Mm. Yeah. The deepest knowing in you is a knowing out of nothingness. Mm. And when that moves into form, when that moves into experience, the lovemaking begins. It's like he enters her. Mm. 